Yo, Saif here, just like the knife, and I've got a gold one Yoru who kept playing aggressive and constantly lurking on attack. Here's how I highlighted his countless mistakes. First of all, fix the minimap. You're missing out so much free info by having it look like this. Compared to a full size map, there's no comparison. If a teammate spots an enemy in A main, it won't appear on your map because it's cut off. Simply head to settings and turn off key player centered. Here, this is a decent spot, however your utilization of the flash is far too risky because the Rainer was clearly not blinded by the flash and that's because they went beyond her. If you can't accurately locate the footsteps, use flashes that are guaranteed to pop in front of them like banking off this wall here or even this one. Let's look at it from the enemy's perspective. Notice flash A which is your flash didn't blind but flash B is almost guaranteed to blind. Keep in mind that when you're using flashes, even if you're on another flash agent like Phoenix, flashing like this is better than flashing like this if you're unsure of how close the enemy is. Round 5 In theory, this place seems good, but a close inspection and there are so many flaws. Firstly, there's no need to instantly TP. You can start off by holding the angle, getting a shot and then TPing, followed by a clone and then peeking off that clone from holes. Because they heard that TP, they more than likely knew that the clone was a fake, which is why they didn't shoot it. But had you held the angle and shown presence, then clone, they more than likely would have shot the clone like this. This is a common theme I see where players don't understand how to peek. Instead of clearing the angles like this, you decided to bypass all the spots and pre-aim this spot over here. And because of that, you were so far in the open that you were asking to be killed. But because this was gold, you weren't punished. Instead, peek all the angles that an enemy is going to be in, like here. Round 12. Back to your favorite area of the map. It's not bad, especially when you have a safety TP, but this is just poor utilization of your utility. You've got two flashes, and in what universe do you just dry swing into multiple enemies expecting to win? The moment they didn't shoot that clone and didn't pay on the other side of the map is when alarm bells should be going off. And that's where you pop the flash off the floor, swing, get at least one, maybe two, and then TP with numbers advantage. Even that is very risky, which is why I'd recommend to keep it a bit more safe. Round 13, this is the typical Euro flash TP and it honestly wasn't too bad but if you get a flash TP make sure your teammates are a lot closer, that way you can be traded. When you're this far you're completely isolated and if they're not flash, high chance is they'll and they can't be traded. Just gotta let your teammates know your attention. It won't. Over here. The kill on stage although being lucky was good but that's the cue for you to play a life like this. However, you decided to position yourself where you can't really back out of fights, for example the brimstone fight. Not only are you in the open but there are no teammates to trade you because of the sage war if the brimstone f*** you. It's these small details that makes it hard for a player to be consistent and even though you got the kill it still doesn't make it right because the next game you might lose that gunfight costing you that round which might snowball into you losing multiple rounds and then the game. Round 16. An ace play is perfectly fine and in fact is advised because all it takes is one molly from the brim or a sage slow to stop the A main push. However, in this situation where both of you as duelists are splitting is completely wrong. The goal of the duelist is to help the team to get onto the side and in this case a race satchel or euro clone slash flash TP. As opposed to both of you going mid, a simple molly stops your A main players from progressing and by having both duelists the A main players cannot get onto the side making it easier to isolate you coming from link. Right here, your crosshair placement, to put it lightly, is poor. I understand you don't have to properly check and take your time peeking every spot, but at least implement a technique called angle snapping, which I've mentioned in my previous video. And this is where you're preeming the common spots head height, making sure your crosshair is snapped onto the angle, so that if there's an enemy there, you're not completely caught off guard like this by having your crosshair over here instead of over here. I hope you all enjoyed this mini VOD review. If you'd like to be featured like this Yoru, then go into the Discord and head to VOD submissions and submit a full length VOD and I'll choose one at random. And as always, until next time.